Hi everyone, happy Friday. It's Lisa here with your weekly update on all things Live Love Animal Rescue. So um, let's jump right in. We actually have two intakes for this week and both of our intakes for this week have some special needs. So I'm gonna give you some more details about them later on in the video, um, but I wanna introduce them off the top and those two dogs are Lovely and Falcor. For our foster to adopts this week, Melon actually went on foster to adopt. We're very excited about that. Um, if you remember from weeks previous, we weren't sure if he was going to be a forever foster or not. So um, luckily we were able to place him in a foster to adopt home that is also open to forever fostering if that's the path that we need to take. So we're very happy about that. We've had two adoptions finalized this week and that was Dahlia and Riley. Let's jump into the medical for the week. So first, I'm gonna start by talking about Lovely, one of our new intakes. So Lovely was an emergency medical intake from Long Beach Animal Care Services. And today she is at the vet for diagnostics and to come up with a treatment plan because she has severe bladder stones. Um, there's also a number of other potential issues that we need to um, examine and potentially diagnose, possibly heartworm, possibly kidney disease. So we're looking at a lot of um, potential medical issues that are going to need to be addressed for this little girl. So um, we will be updating you on our social media throughout the week, and we'll definitely give you a medical update in next Friday's weekly video, but I wanted to tell you where we were at for right now. I'm definitely not accepting applications on her at this time because we really want to focus on her medical treatment. All right, uh, let's talk about lamb chop. We always got to have a lamb chop section in the medical area, right? So um, last week, um, lamb chop was in the middle of a medical recheck for her skin on Friday. So um, the vet had told us that they feel like we're very close to finishing the injections, but the problem is if we stop too soon, we can actually start to spiral back into you know, the old infection. So we really wanna make sure that we finish out the treatment strong and make sure that we've like fully kicked everything. So um, she's one week into another set of two weeks. So next Friday, she's gonna have another recheck and we'll see if we'll be at the point where we can stop the daily injections, but we're not quite sure yet. So we're definitely gonna to listen to our medical team's advice on that one. All right, Amor had her spay and her microchip, so we should be ready to finalize her adoption this week, which is very exciting. And then Alex Mack and Bianca Stratford had their puppy vaccines this week. So that is a summary of our medical. And then I promised that I would tell you a little bit about um, Falcor as well. So Falcor is with us because um, he was having some really challenging behavioral concerns in the home. So one of the things that we did was we offered in-home training and we went over a lot of the strategies and tech techniques that would be best to address the specific behavior issues that he was exhibiting. However, ultimately, um, when it came down to it, the family felt that surrendering um, Falcor back to the rescue was the best course of action. So what we've done is he's actually staying with me for the next two weeks to do an extended evaluation and training um, to see what the best path forward is for either putting him in a foster home or seeing what we can do um, in terms of, you know, who knows forever foster. Hopefully not, probably not, but we definitely want to make sure that we have a really solid plan for Falcor in place um, in terms of behavior management before we ask a foster to take on any sort of care for him. So that's what we're working on with Falcor at the moment and um, that's pretty much where we're at for the week. So as a reminder, we really need fosters. So this is July 4th weekend, everyone. And as you may know, this is the busiest time in um, shelter and rescue because of the number of strays that will come about due to fireworks. So our shelters are full, they don't have space, and we don't have fosters, and it's a huge challenge. So we could really use your help. Please spread the word. We're really looking for not only temporary fosters, but longer term fosters as well. People who are willing to um, foster a dog until it's adopted. Um, we know it's a challenging time of year in general and also because people are starting to feel comfortable to travel again, but um, we can really use the help. So please share our dogs, um, please share our, our long stay adoptable dogs, please share our dogs that need fosters. We have um, all kinds of informational pages on our website for dogs that need foster and dogs that are looking to be adopted. Um, as always, we would really appreciate any donations that you might be able to send our way. So we have donation options via PayPal, via Venmo, um, on Facebook and Instagram as well. And then of course we also accept um, 
donations via Cuddly and um, Amazon wishlist. So if you want to donate a physical item, that's a great option as well. You can also designate this as your Amazon Smile charity and every little bit adds up and we get a quarterly payment from Amazon Smile, which is awesome. So thank you so much for your support and we will talk again next week.